Our question is x to the power 9 plus x to the power 6 is equal to 36. We have to find the value of x. Before I start to solve this question, please subscribe our channel and press the bell icon. You can follow us at Telegram, WhatsApp and Twitter which is now known as x. If there is any question or any query from your side, you can mail us at sawalbawal at the rate of gmail.com. Let us start to solve this question. Our question is x to the power 9 plus x to the power 6 is equal to 36. It can be written as x to the power 3 whole 3 plus x to the power 3 whole 2 is equal to 36. This can be written like this with the formula a to the power m to n can be written as a to the power m into n. With the help of this formula we have written this. Now let us consider x to the power 3 as y. Therefore, we can write it as y to the power 3 plus y square is equal to 36. Further, we can write it as y cube plus y square minus 36 is equal to 0. Let us find its factor or root by remainder theorem by trial and error method. If we put the value of y is equal to 1, then it will be equal to 1 cube plus 1 square minus 36. Is it equal to 0? No, it's, it is not equal to 0. Therefore, y is equal to 1 or y minus 1 is not a factor of this expression. Further, we will put value of y is equal to 2. Then it will be equal to 2 to the power 3 plus 2 to the power 2 minus 36. Since the value of 2 to the power 3 is equal to 8 plus 2 to the power 2 is equal to 4. This is the 8 plus 4 that is equal to 12 and 12 minus 36 is not equal to 0. Therefore, this is also not the root. Now, let us put the value of y is equal to 3. Then 3 to the power 3 plus 3 square minus 36. 3 to the power 3 is equal to 27 plus 3 to the power 2 is equal to 9 minus 36. This is equal to 36 minus 36 and this is equal to 0. Therefore, y is equal to 3. Means 3 is the root of this uh, equation or we can say that y minus 3 is the factor of this expression. Therefore, to find the another factor, we will divide this expression with y minus 3. To find its another factor, we will divide it with y minus 3 that is equal to y cube plus y square minus 36. Taking y square times, we can write it y cube minus 3y square minus minus this will cancel out y cube will cancel out y cube and minus minus plus and this will be equal to 4y square minus 36. Now, taking 4y times of y minus 3, then it will be equal to 4y square minus 12y. This is equal to minus minus 4y square will cancel out with 4y square and minus 12y with the minus sign, will it, will, it will be equal to plus 12y and minus 36. Taking it has a 12 times then it will equal to 12y minus 36 and we can write it as minus minus and this will cancel out by this one and minus 36 will be cancelled out with 36 therefore remainder is 0 therefore we can say that y cube plus y square minus 36 is equal to y 0 can be written as y minus 3 into that is equal to y square plus 4y plus 12 
y square plus 4y plus 12 is equal to 0. Now, let us compare it with the standard quadratic equation that is equal to x square bx plus c is equal to 0. By comparing this with the standard quadratic equation, we will have value of a is equal to 1, value of b is equal to 4 and value of c is equal to 12. Why we are comparing? Just we want to know that this quadratic equation can be factorized further or not. To check its root or uh, that can be factor further factorized or not, let us check the value of discriminant. The value of discriminant A can be written as b square minus 4ac and the value of b is 4 that is equal to 4 square minus 4 into 1 and the value of c is 12 that is equal to 4 square is equal to 16 minus 48 and 16 minus 48 is equal to minus 32. It means the value of d is less than 0. It tells that the value of 4y, uh, y square plus 4y plus 12 is always greater than 0, always greater than 0 if, since the value of d is less than 0 or we can say that it has a no root. Since we know that if the value of d is greater than 0, then it will have the two roots. If the value of d is equal to 0, then it will have the one root. If the value of d is less than 0, then it will have no root. Or we can say that quadratic equations roots depends on the value of d. Therefore, from this uh, equation, we can say that it will have a only one factor. Uh, only one root that is equal to 3 that is y minus 3 is equal to 0 or y is equal to 3 as we have assumed the value of y as x to the power 3 is equal to 3 and taking cube root both side we will have x is equal to cube root of 3 and this is our required solution means the value of x is the cube root of 3 or we can further we can write it as x is equal to 3 to the power 1 by 3. This is the solution. Let us check this solution by putting the value of x in the original solution. Our original solution is x to the power 9 plus x to the power 6 is equal to 36. Let us put the value of x here. Value of x is 1 3 to the power 1 by 3 whole bracket 9 plus 3 to the power 1 by 3 whole bracket 6 minus 36 is equal to 0. If the value of this one will be equal to 0 then the this root will satisfy this equation and this will be the answer. We know that if there is a power of a to the power m is multiplied by n then it can be written as a to the power m into n. With the help of this formula we can write 3 to the power 1 by 3 into 9 plus 3 to the power 1 by 3 into 6 minus 36 and this is equal to 3 3 to the power 3 plus this will equal to 2 3 to the square minus 36 and this is equal to 27 plus 9 minus 36 and we know that 27 plus 9 is equal to 36 minus 36 and this will equal to 0 and it is satisfying this equation hence the value of x is equal to 3 to the power 1 by 3. This is our required solution. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe our channel and like comment and share. Thanks once again.